In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up. Pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. As you may have realized, that is a quote from the popular children's book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. The rest of the story goes something like this. Once the caterpillar hatches from his egg, he realizes he is extremely hungry and goes in search for food. And each day, he eats more and more until eventually he's double the size that he once was. He then builds himself a cocoon and stays in there for two weeks. Once the two weeks is up, he comes out and he is now a beautiful butterfly. Not only is this story um, about a very hungry caterpillar, but it's also a simplified version of the life cycle of a butterfly. And I hope that through this, through this discussion that you will um, have a better understanding of this life cycle, and I hope you will find it just as fascinating as I did when I did my research. But to begin, I first need to, it's important that I tell you that uh, butterflies undergo complete metamorphosis, which means that their young will look completely different than their adults, and they require different kinds of food. And so the first stage is the egg stage. The eggs are no bigger than the size of a pinhead, and the female butterfly will lay about 10 to 100 at a time, and she lays them on a leaf which is very important because the leaf will act as food once the caterpillars are born. But caterpillars are very picky about what kind of food they eat. And this is because eating the wrong food, especially plant, could be deadly for them. The incubation process takes about five to ten days. And a lot of it depends upon um, the environments such as the temperature and uh, the humidity going on around them. And not all of the eggs will survive, that's why there's so many that have been laid at once. And the second stage is the caterpillar stage. And the caterpillars are extremely small once they've been hatched. But their purpose is, is they will eat and eat and eat some more. And they do this so that they will store the food away for when they become adults. And they will actually grow to about 100 times their normal size. And they can eat their weight and more in one day. Well, actually, for example, the monarch butterfly can actually, at the end of the cycle, will grow to about 2 inches. So you can imagine how small it started out. The caterpillar will also molt its skin or shed, and they do this in order to um, be able to grow and also to harden their skin. The uh, third stage is the chrysalis stage, and the caterpillar, um, after its last molt, will form into a chrysalis or a cocoon, and it will stay in there for about a week or a month or even longer. And the chrysalis usually hangs from a tree or a bush or is buried underground just to protect them from uh, the predators or the weather. And now, as you can see, there's lots of, this is the most important stage because this is when a lot of the changes are happening. And the best way to think of this process is by this principle that nothing is created, nothing is lost, and everything is transformed. So there is a deconstruction of tissues and organs and everything that made the caterpillar a caterpillar. And there is a rebuilding of everything that will make the, the butterfly a butterfly. And um, what's really amazing is that the, gen um, the cells of the butterfly are already predetermined genetically. And so they must follow a specific pattern. So if you think about it as we as adults and our DNA and everything has been predetermined for us. So with this biological clock, hormones are very important for this. It's because hormones regulate every process and the hormones get their help 
from the environment, such as the sun and the moon and the, the temperature outside. And all of this is extremely important for this transformation. Then once the butterfly is big enough, it will come out of its chrysalis. But when it does so, we have our final stage, which is the butterfly stage. And the insect has now completely different. And when it comes out, its wings are crinkled and blood has to flow into the wings in order for them to be straightened out and the butterfly can fly away. Now the job of the butterfly has now changed. It now eats nectar instead of plants. And it also um, must be fruitful and multiply. And what's really cool is they now have senses which the antenna of the butterfly is used for touching and smelling while the feet are actually used to taste. And this is extremely important because the female butterfly needs to be able to know what kind of plant she's on so that she's able to lay her eggs and know what kind of food she's eating. Sadly enough, butterflies actually only live one to two weeks, but since they are so busy being fruitful and multiplying, there will be more next spring. So in conclusion, um, so often we seem to overlook the beauties that were created for us to enjoy, and the technicality of this metamorphosis is so amazing that it should remind us that there are changes that are capable in us too. Caterpillars had their own specific purpose, but when they became butterflies, their purpose changed and became much greater. Um, Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. And just it just goes to show that if, um, that if God is capable of doing such wondrous things in nature to just insects, then it just, just goes to show that what he's capable of doing in us. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Audience.